I'm Bob Young here with Nuts About Nets to answer the question, what is RF interference? I've got an example here for you on the board that we're going to start with. This is part of a spectrum analyzer display. We've got amplitude on the vertical axis, frequency on the horizontal axis, and I happen to be showing channel 6 in the middle of the Wi-Fi or 802.11 spectrum. Everything looks good the way it is, but now if we have some sort of interference, that means we have RF energy that will show up on the spectrum analyzer display that is not part of our channel 6 information. So if we have interference from a microwave, for example, that will be broadband interference and might go all the way across the band like this. And where that interference intersects with the channel 6 data, we might have trouble distinguishing our 1s and our zeros, and we might lose our valuable information in channel 6. So that's broadband interference. Other types of interference we might come into contact with is interference that's only within our band of interest. This is co-channel interference. Co-channel interference is undesired RF information within the receiver band. So that will cause the same thing, the loss of ability for the receiver to decode the ones and zeros of our real information stream. Now there is another kind of interference that bears mention, and that's adjacent channel interference. There's some overlap in the channels in the 802.11 spectrum, and so we may find that if the wrong channels are used, we have some, uh, the upper frequency of one channel overlaps the lower frequency of the other channel, and that will be adjacent channel interference. It'll cause problems with part of the signal, and we'll lose some of the ones and zeros in our information. That's why it's important with 802.11 Wi-Fi systems to only use channels 1, 6, and 11 wherever possible. These channels have no adjacent channel interference with each other. Channel 5 always interferes with channel 6, but 1 and 6 are far enough apart that we don't have adjacent channel interference. So to summarize, we've got three kinds of interference. Broadband interference, co-channel interference, and adjacent channel interference. Different devices will produce those different kinds of interference, and to find those and solve problems with them, we need an RF spectrum analyzer. Thanks so much for watching the video. We've got some other videos with helpful information about specific wireless performance issues. I hope you'll check them out.